happened to your camera? This isn't my camera. What is, whose is it? It's Emma's. What happened to it? I don't know. It's all messed up. It looks like it's done bit dry. I know, it does. <laughs> it's all scratched up and nasty. <laughs> It's the same kind of camera that Charles and Allie use, so I stole it from her so I could play with it. And I love it. You see my camera? I love it. Ew, stop. Caitlin, stop it. <laughs> You're recording. Uh, I am. <laughs> so guys, I just got home. Boring day. Um, I didn't go to Career Center today because I had to work uh, at 2 o'clock today. Uh, but I had my orientation for my job today, and I'm not going to tell you where you guys work, because eventually you'll figure it out anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it down here. Uh, I work Saturday though, and I work Sunday this week, so yay! <laughs> I got a job! That means that I'll get to do more things with you guys, and it'll give me a lot of more opportunities, and... Um, I'll get to visit you guys. Wow! I'll get to go to like play this live and stuff. And my first thing on my list is upgrading, upgrading, upgrading my stuff. Uh, getting a new camera. Right now I'm using, uh, as you see, <laughs> I'm still using Emma's camera because I love it so much. But I'm gonna upgrade this and computer. Get I need to get my Mac and Final Cut Pro and stuff. That's the so first thing I'm gonna do. Yeah, but I'm excited. Um, I already love the environment of my job and the people and the idea and everything. It's awesome and we have a good time. Yep. <laughs> but my first day is Saturday and I work Sunday and then I'm not sure about the next week but next Thursday is my last day of school and then I'm on spring break for 10 days and yeah. Bam. But uh, now I'm going to go download all of the incredible videos that you guys sent me. And um, yeah, I'm going to go download those because I need to start editing my project tomorrow. And my film teacher is going to go through with me and watch your guys' videos and help me figure out uh, how I'm going to put this together. Because if you've seen the other video, which I will put the link down there. I'm sorry guys, I keep forgetting to give you guys links sometimes. Um, but I will definitely put the link down there and you guys can see it. I really, really like that video. I do, and I could watch it a million times. And it's just, I love that video, but I don't love it enough. <laughs> and my film teacher hopefully is going to help me find a way to love this video. Um, there's a lot more going on in this video. There's a lot more interviews. There's a lot more story, I think, to you guys. And there's a lot of... Uh, different opinions. There's a lot of different people of different age groups. Uh, there's girls who are gay, they're bi, pansexual, uh, there's guys who are gay, bi, pansexual, uh, transgender, there are uh, people who are older, there are people that are super young and that we like to call the baby gays. <laughs> um, there are people that... Uh, there's just such a wide assortment of people that I think it's really going to make the documentary a lot better. Uh, there are people in this video that aren't out to anyone yet, but me, and soon you guys. I has a text message. Oh my god. From Emma. She said hello. Um, <laughs> but there's, there's such an incredible assortment of people and situations and stories that I feel like it's gonna make it a lot better than the other video. Um, I am using a few clips from that other video, a few stories from that other video. So I'm not going to totally abandon that video. I'm going to bring it into this one and clean it up and it's going to be a lot better. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being a part of it with me and helping me. And I may even uh, get you guys a little something something for those of you who sent in videos and told me your story because for a lot of people telling your coming out story to a complete stranger um, it's a hard thing to do especially when it's on video and going to be on the internet and going other places where you don't know anybody it's a hard thing to do and I'm so proud of you guys for doing it 
and being honest with your stories and talking to me as a one person conversation it's first person and I love it and thank you guys so much you know what I may I may go get you guys a little something something yep I think I'm gonna do it but what should I get I don't know t-shirt no I don't know if you guys would want a t-shirt with my face on it or a wristband or a stick oh keychain hmm hmm I don't know, I'll figure it out. My old mom, ousted from the Boy Scouts of America for being a lesbian, is now joining the movement to legalize gay marriage in Ohio. ABC6 reporter David Jay joining us now live with that story. David? Well, Bob, organizers of Freedom Ohio here in Columbus think they have some momentum for this effort, but they're not sure they have enough to get their ballot measure passed, and that's why they're bringing in some big names to help with a little bit of uh, momentum. Jen Terrell is convinced that if enough people step up to the microphone, the lives of families like hers will change. I would like to just be married. Um, I also look forward to the day when I'm not former lesbian dead mother, but just Jen. For now, she is the Ohio dead mother, ousted from the Boy Scouts for being gay. Support from her community in Brookport, Ohio, led to a national spotlight. Now she hopes to shed some light on same-sex marriage statewide. Let's sit down and have coffee. I'm, I'm dead serious. Let's talk about it. Let's work through whatever's wrong. And we, together, we can make this work. Freedom to Marry Ohio announced today that Terrell and Zach Walls, an author known for his advocacy in Iowa, are joining their effort. But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay couple. Organizers say they're confident they'll have enough signatures to put a measure to repeal Ohio's ban on same-sex marriage on the November ballot. But they aren't sure this is the year to put it to voters. We want to be in a position to have the appropriate resources to be able to win a campaign. What are you about to do, Malika? I'm going to turn up on her ass. <laughs> Make her come back over and here. And I'm going to turn up when I, uh, Shanice, too. <laughs> this bitch right now, bitch. I will turn up for you, too. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Wait, you look going to fight later. Make out you should come back over here. What's your pepper here? Talk about it. They fight. What? You want it? Take it back. Take it back. Oh, damn. Oh, Ooh, she yeah. threw the glass. <laughs> Look how calm she is. Hey, 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 yeah, what you need to steal is a pack. It's fine. It's one of them long grass and grass. Oh, God. Oh, it's a long grass and grass. Oh, God. 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 Oh, God
So what you guys just heard was my math class. 72 days. 72 days. I can't wait. Rest deprivation so that I can rush you this prophetic what? word. I want you to press the numerical number one so that I can get all of your information. Speak slowly and clearly. Oh, hell no. Your address, your name, all of your What? So creepy. So that I can call you back personally and rush you your written prophetic word and your prophetic word that God Same spoke pathetic. to me about prophetic. you. Go ahead. Press the number Don't one now. Don't go get all your money. My fifteen dollars that I <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. the church people, church recordings. They've called my phone before, and the last time it was an actual person, and he told me I was gonna go to hell, and I don't know how he knows my life. But he said I was going to go to hell. And something about God wants to save me. And now this guy wants to send me some stuff. And he wants all my information. And your money. And my money. And not Because I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what? They have before. And it was an actual person. And he was like, are you going to go to hell? I was like, what? Excuse me? He's still recording. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I'm still here. Say bye. I got a coin! Say bye. Right, bye, I got a coin. Do I need to put... <laughs> Do I need to put oil in this pan? Bacon? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it just cooks if you just like Look it, Duncan. Duncan. put it. Come here. Come here, buddy. What's the matter? What's wrong, Duncan? Go get Emma. She has the camera. Duncan. Go get her. Hi, buddy. You guys are best friends. I know. He looked at me because you're singing. I sing Duncan all the time. He enjoys Adele. I put on an Adele concert for Duncan once. Because I was home alone, so I sat in the kitchen floor and I sang to Duncan. It's depressing. <laughs> Do you need help? Duncan, are you hungry? You want an egg? Why are you shaking? Look at him. He's excited. He's shaking. You Shaky him? dog. What's wrong with you, dude? Do you need help? No. You sure? Yes. Don't get in. Cook it to bacon. I haven't had bacon in like six years. Turkey bacon's good. But we ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we had breakfast at school, and they gave us turkey bacon. Cause we go to beach crawl. My school would just be like, here's a pop tart. <laughs> but you have to have diet pop. Ew. But here's a pop tart. Ew. What? Yeah, that's why I don't eat bacon. I like it when it's cooked. Oh wait, it's recording. <laughs> my mom was trying to take a picture of my shirt. Because <laughs> it says that's how I roll. <laughs> Whoops, my bad.